So, in response to our ongoing video series about the setup and management of Apple Business Manager, I have linked part one in this video series above for you, just in case you're interested. I had a question recently. How do I link Apple Business Manager to Intune for automated device enrollment? Well, we've got you covered on that topic. So in this video, we are going to look at how to link the component of Apple Business Manager called Automated Device Enrollment with your Intune tenant. And without further ado, let's get started. Firstly then, we're going to want to open a browser with two tabs. The first one, you'll want Apple Business Manager, which is available at business.apple.com. And then secondly, we're going to want Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, which is available at endpointmanager.microsoft.com. To get to where we need to be, we'll go ahead and select Devices from the left-hand side, and then Enroll Devices, and then Apple Enrollment. From here, we'll want to select Enrollment Program Tokens. As you can see, there's no tokens here at the moment. So what we'll need to do is go ahead and select Add. Firstly, we'll want to select I agree to Microsoft permissions to send both user and device information to Apple. And then secondly, we're going to download the public key in a .pem format. This will allow the eventual token to be created. You want to go ahead and download this public key. Before creating the token, you'll want to enter the Apple ID for which you have signed in to the Apple Business Manager portal with, and of course, the same Apple ID that you will be using to generate the token. Once you have inputted the Apple ID, head back over to Apple Business Manager. From here, you want to go ahead and select your account on the left, bottom left hand side, and then select Preferences. You want to go ahead and select MDM Server Assignment. Within this menu, we can set customer numbers. So when you purchase devices from an authorized Apple reseller, we can pop them in here. Or secondly, we can also set a default MDM Server Assignment. So based on the platform type or model, we can create a default designation or assignment based on the token or MDM platform that ABM is linked with. Okay, so we want to add an MDM server. We can either do that by selecting add here or add MDM server option up here. Clicking this option, it gives us a new window to then input an MDM server information like the MDM server name, for example. For this example, we'll call it UEM authority mem forward slash intune. And we also want to allow this MDM server to release devices. Next, under MDM server settings, we'll want to upload the public key that we downloaded from Endpoint Manager earlier. This is in a .pem format. So go ahead and select upload once you've found the correct public key file. Once you're ready, press save. Okay, excellent, so now the token has been generated, all we need to do now is download the token. So we can click the download token button here. Go ahead and select download server token. Now we want to head back over to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager admin console. So the last step in here under Apple token is to browse for the token file, which should be in a .p7m format, and then go ahead and upload that. Alrighty, so we'll click next to finalize the creation of the token. We can verify our settings here and then go ahead and select create. Awesome, so in the top right corner, we can see the token has been generated and the, the integration point has been created. To verify that the creation point is successful, we can see the 
status is active, it has an expiry date, which is 365 days, the Apple ID that it's associated with, and also the program type that we're using. Okay, so next we're going to set a default MDM server assignment within Apple Business Manager. Selecting MDM server assignment under default MDM server assignment, we can go ahead and then designate a default token based on the platform type. So under iPhone, we'll hit the drop down and then select UEM Authority Intune token. Clicking save, that is now assigned as default. So what this means is when a new device is purchased and entered into Apple Business Manager for your company, the default MDM server assignment will make sure that the device is automatically assigned into your correct MDM environment. In our case here, it will be Intune or Endpoint Manager. Okay, so this concludes the tutorial to show you how to link Apple Business Manager to your Intune tenant for automated device enrollment. We really hope you found that useful. We will be making more video tutorials around Apple Business Manager and how to link certain components to your MDM platform. Remember to stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.